If you're looking for healing or the like, then you'd best look elsewhere. My... my plate is full for now. The man chomps on the bit of his pipe, generating a small cloud of nervous smoke. Finally, he plucks it from his mouth and clears his throat. I came by a new patient, a young woman, very troubled. I'll do what I can for her, but I'll need to concentrate. And that... He gestures with his pipe for you to leave. Oh, fine. You can help. Take just... Be careful. It's clear she's a powerful sorcerer, but also whatever she was subjected to has warped her in body and mind. I have her locked up for good reason. Someone do this to another person. She's badly afflicted, but still powerful. Be careful. Why would someone do this to another person? A spillage all over the floor. but still powerful. Be careful. Why would someone do this to another person? Why would someone do this to another person? Why would someone do this to another person? She's badly afflicted, but still powerful. Be careful. Why would someone do this to another person? Across the cellar, a shape bearing some resemblance to a woman lurches around to face you. It utters a marrow-curdling gurgle. She senses us. Be calm and quiet. No sudden moves. You're right. I hadn't noticed before. Couldn't get close enough. We have to help her. Maybe we can reverse whatever was done to her. All right. We need her subdued, understand? Do whatever you can to knock her down. Just 
don't go too far, or you might kill her. Another gurgle, sharper, angrier. Then the sound of rapid footfalls rushing towards you. She must be weakened, or there's no way to help her. The young woman lies still on the floor, her breathing an uneven rasp. Swan's satchel of surgical tools lies nearby. Swan approaches, cradling his arm with a grimace of pain. Those summons of hers broke my arm. I'll do what I can to help, but... <sighs> the rest is up to you. Swan carefully holds her head steady with his one good arm. Something moves along her exposed lobe. It's a maggot of some kind. Swan gingerly picks up some forceps with his good hand and tries to remove the maggot. The forceps slip from his hand and strike the floor. He gives you an abashed look. It's no use. I'm liable to do more damage than good without both hands to work with. The maggot fights the pull of the forceps and sinks its hooked maw into brain matter. A chunk comes away with it as you pull it off. The woman's breathing has grown shallow as she hovers between life and death. All you can do is close her up and hope for the best. Swan shakes his head with a sigh. I can't. The work's too delicate to do one-handed. I'm sorry. I'm not accustomed to being so bloody useless. You try to replace the bone extract. It doesn't seem to line up with a hole very well. You shove it in as best you can and draw the scalp down over it. Your hand passes over the needle and thread in Swan's satchel, and instead fishes out a roll of bandages. You wrap the woman's head tightly. Poor thing. Dead before... He fishes out his pipe and tries to spot To hell with the gods! I'm going to see what I can learn from this poor girl before I give her a proper burial. Across the set she senses us. You're wrong, all right. Another girl. No! 
She must be weakened, or there's no way to help her. The young woman lies still on the floor, her breathing an uneven rasp. Swan's satchel of surgical tools lies nearby. The young woman lies still. Swan approaches, cradling his arm with a grim... Those swords of hers broke my arm. I'll do what I can to help, but... <sighs> the rest is up to you. Tread carefully. One false move and she's dead. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. Crack. After much effort and a lot of blood, you've created a ragged hole in her skull. Not the finest job, but it will. So something moves along her exposed lobe. It's a maggot of some kind. Swan gingerly picks up some forceps with his good hand and tries to remove the maggot. The forceps slip from his hand and strike the floor. It's no use. I'm liable to do more damage. The maggot is caught in a pinch of the tweezers, and the woman's breathing has grown shallow as she hovers between life and death. All you can do is close her up and hope for the best. Swan shakes his head. I can't. The work's too delicate to do one-handed. I'm sorry. I'm not a... You try to replace the bone extra. Your hand passes over the needle and thread in... The young woman lies to Swan approaching. Those swords of hers broke my arm. I'll do what I can to help, but... <clears throat> Part of her skull lifts away in a neat square, revealing the brain beneath. Something moves along her exposed lobe. It's a maggot of some kind. The maggot is caught in a pinch of the tweezers and plucked off in a single, swift movement. The woman's breathing has grown shallow as she hovers between life and death. All you can do is close her up and hope for the best. You try to replace the bone extract. Your hand passes over the needle and th the woman's breathing grows stronger, more even. Color flushes her cheeks. She's alive. You did it. I've never seen anything like that, not in 20 years. I'll tend to her here for a while. She shouldn't be moved yet. She'll want to thank you when she comes round, I'm sure. It's a damn miracle that she survived.